So the next subject I want to cover are CJ's self-care needs. Currently, CJ is not potty trained, so he wears diapers. Um, we are in the process of trying to potty train him, but it's very difficult for two reasons. First of all, he's nonverbal, as you know. And second of all, because there are very few things that will motivate CJ. So oftentimes you will try to encourage a child to complete tasks, especially self-care tasks, by, you know, a reward system, you know, uh, you know, so if they accomplish this step, then they get a reward. But for CJ, for instance, there are very few items that are really motivating to him. So we come and we face a very difficult challenge with potty training him. So currently, um, we change his diapers, you know, so we have to constantly buy diapers and wipes. So just imagine that. I know, you know, a lot of new parents, they like really are uh, astounded by, you know, the cost of diapers. But just imagine if you had to purchase diapers for 11 years for your child. So it gets very expensive with CJ. Um, you know, sometimes we're, we're blessed to have um, the diapers covered through insurance or, you know, Medi-Cal, things of that nature. But sometimes they're is a delay in them shipping the product to you. Sometimes there's a delay because of hangups with insurance. So those are not always guaranteed. So, you know, there's been plenty of times we haven't always had diapers covered. For really, majority of the time we haven't because of those issues. Um, also, there, there it's, we have a challenge with actually getting CJ to brush his teeth. He does not do that. So even if we try to brush his teeth for him, he's very resistant to it. So he'll push away and fight you, even with washing his face. You know, and I'm not sure if there's a sensitivity with the face that causes him to fight and be resistant with it, but he does put up a fight. So with the teeth, what we do is when we put him in the bathtub to give him his bath, he's relaxed. He loves the bathtub. So at that time, we'll either try to brush his teeth with a toothbrush, but if we can't do that, we'll take a towel and we'll just wipe his teeth. At minimum, at least he's getting his teeth cleaned somewhat. It's not the best, but it's our alternative. Um, also, what we struggle with with CJ is getting dressed. He does not dress himself. And, you know, it's really just a real lack of motivation on his part um, as far as getting dressed. So I will put on his shirt. He will put his arms through the armholes. He can take off his shirt, but he has difficulty putting it on. Also with his pants, I'll pull his pants up to about the knee or either around the thigh area, and then I'll have him pull them up the rest of the way. He will do that. As far as socks and shoes, I have to initiate that, even as well as um, taking off the shoes, because we have to double tie the shoes to keep shoes on him. So that is another thing we double tie, so we have to take off the shoes for him. So a lot of his day-to-day -day grooming and self-care needs we have to manage and have a real hands-on approach to it. You know, we found that putting up pictures of each step of the process does help somewhat because he knows what comes next. So, for instance, for brushing teeth, we will put a picture up of maybe get the toothpaste. Then you open the toothpaste, you have your toothbrush, and then you put the toothpaste on the toothbrush. So step by step to show him how the whole task works from beginning to end. But it is a very tedious and time-consuming way to teach your child, but it's a necessary way of teaching them, especially when it comes to chores and self-care. Another thing I want to cover with self-care is, you know, as I talked about his feeding issues, we utilize Gerber rice cereal. So once again, we have to buy a real large supply of cereal on a regular basis because that's his main staple, as well as baby food, soft food products like pudding, 
yogurt, and even with those items, we're going to have to transition because we found that cow's milk escalates his aggressive behavior. So now we're looking into, you know, doing some alternative products other than typical dairy products. Um, even we've tried soy milk in the past, but that also gives him some complications. So the silk, you know, pure almond milk works the best for him. But from the grooming to the potty training to, you know, the dressing and to the feeding, there are very particular steps that we take on a day-to-day -day basis. So with that, what we tend to do is that we have to get ready far in advance of the time that we have to leave out of the door. Um, you know, not only do we have the other two kids, I have the other two kids to get ready, you know, I also have to make sure I have a hand in CJ's day-to-day -day preparation. And, you know, luckily I do have Taylor, my five-year-old. She's very helpful, so she'll get the diapers, the wipes. She'll even try to get CJ dressed, so she will put on a shirt and things of that nature. Um, but those are things that some of us parents have to face, you know. It's great because not all special needs children have these challenges, but then there are children that do. And it can be due to a developmental delay, a physical, you know, disability, many things. You know, even with kids with autism, um, the getting dressed can be a difficult challenge. And you never would think this, but it also can be because of sensory issues, because of the filling of the clothes on the skin. So it may take you more time to get your child ready. They may fight or be resistant to the clothes. So those are all things you really have to take in consideration. For us, another thing that we face with getting CJ dressed is that Typically when I buy his clothes, I have to make sure they don't have buttons, zippers, those types of things because he will chew them. And, you know, we found missing buttons on polo shirts, you know, that he needed for school. He's chewed the buttons and swallowed them. Um, so remember, there are some sensory issues sometimes with kids, and so they will chew on those items. So... We, you know, as parents of special needs kids, just, you know, I encourage you to prepare your day so that you're not rushing because you do have more to take on and it takes more time so you don't want to rush. And then just for those who, you know, are waiting on you sometimes, you know, to get out the door or get to their house or get to their event, you know, let them know all that you have to do on a day-to-day -day basis so they really know what you're facing. Um, a good example is that, you know, our children, they may ride the school bus to school. And a lot of times these school bus drivers, you know, they may be impatient. Um, I know they have a schedule to adhere to. But for us, what we face is, you know, sometimes they give you a few minutes grace period. But when we're trying to get CJ out the door, it's not always guaranteed that you're going to make it out the door. Whether it be, cut, be due to, you know, a delay with the self-care and getting everything done because he may be resistant. And it could be a behavior thing. He just doesn't want to go out the door. So you're struggling with him physically to get him out the door. So, you know, I encourage you, too, to have a conversation with your bus driver, you know, for your child. And let them know that sometimes, you know, my child... You know, it's hard to get them ready in the morning or they may have some behavior. So can you give me an extra three minutes? You know, can you just give me that time? And hopefully that will help. So I hope this segment helps you and I'll see you next time. Bye.